Welcome back guys on my YouTube channel. Today I have a very exciting video. How many of you desire to be able in your garage or in your workshop to make a roadbook bracket or any bracket while you're doing customization on your adventure or rally bike and you'll need maybe a bracket to hold a new fairing or stuff like that. Well, after a long search, I found the machine I needed here. It's a bending machine. I had searched for long because I needed a press bending machine that would make me faster in developing prototypes. But as you all know, a press bending machine has huge costs. They cost between 15 to 20,000 euros, something I definitely cannot afford. Here is the machine that's making my life much easier developing prototypes. It's a manual bending machine. I ordered it from the UK, from this company, Smithfield Tools UK, a company I didn't know about, but in 10 days, I got the machine delivered to my home and it cost me approximately 330, 340 euros. So not a great amount comparing it to the super expensive machinery I was looking at. If we start looking at the machine in detail, it's pretty simple. Potentially you could build one yourself at home, but at least for me, I don't have time and I prefer to buy a machine that's made by a company that does this as a job. We have here on the bottom a 10 ton hydraulic piston with a lever that will make us make the piston go up and the piston will make the die go up against the punches. These punches, it's not a unique one. It's separated in different lengths. This is very useful because if I have a sheet metal that I need to bend only one side of this sheet metal, I can remove with the six millimeter Allen key, I can remove the punches and use exactly the one I need. This bending machine has two lower springs in order that once we finish bending our sheet metal, we will turn this knob and the springs will bring down back the die so that we can remove the part. With this machine, I've tested it now for a few months and I have had no issues at all in bending aluminum steel and stainless steel. Obviously, I bend up to five millimeter diameter. I wouldn't go further or at least I didn't try. And most important of all, this machine I bought, I didn't even ask for a discount. I was really curious to try it out and I'm heavily happy with it. I will link in the description where you can order it and I just ask you, if once you order it, just say that you saw my video and link my video, that would really help me out because I wanna ask them if we can design different punches for different angles because here the bending angle is all the same, but we could even design our own custom uh, punches by having pieces of metal laser cut and then have someone with a milling machine make exactly the angle, the type of angle we need. I will show you quickly how easy it is to use and how easy you can remove the punches. Just get a six millimeter Allen key, twist and the punch comes out and we can in this way adjust the punch we need or we can leave them all on if we need to do a simple bend. Today I'll give you a practical demonstration because I got this bracket, it's from uh, Rebel Exports Rally Kit for the 450 bikes. It's the LED light bracket, but I'm thinking how many times we find ourselves in the garage late at night that we need to make some custom bracket. So today I'm gonna demonstrate how I can replicate this bracket and we can also make any custom bracket we need. While working with this metal bending machine, I suggest you always use three tools. Simple ruler, a goniometer to check the angle in order to achieve the exact angle you want because we don't have any display where we can adjust and have exactly the angle we want. So we will need to do trial and error. Once we get used to it, we start being much quicker working on it, achieving the bend we want faster. Last but not least, also a marker. 
I had an identical bracket laser cut and now we will bend it. I won't go on bending a whole roadwork bracket because you'd get bored at watching the video because it takes a bit of time because you have to be really precise where you want the bend. First thing we do, we get this bracket and we measure it. We measure where the bend starts. It's at 6.5 centimeter. With my ruler, I will take the flat bracket, measure 6.5 centimeter, and with the black marker, I will draw a spot. Now, where I draw the spot, I'll make a straight line. Once I've drawn the straight line on the bracket, we will put it in the bending machine and we'll try and have the black line go exactly against the angle of the punch. We place the bracket here sitting on the die. We start bringing up the piston with the lever until we are almost touching the punch. We adjust so that we check that the bracket is perfectly straight and that the punch is going right onto the line. And then we start pushing and you'll see we start bending the bracket. To achieve the angle you want, I told you at the start you have to do a bit trial and error and use a bit of logic. We want a 90 degree angle, which means I will have the punch go almost down to the bottom, but not right to the bottom. The good thing of this machine and of this piston is that you can even slightly press it in order to have a small variation in the angle and not have it, you know, completely off. Once you think you're fine with the bend, you turn this and the springs will bring back down the die. We remove our bracket and we check with the goniometer the angle. Checking with the goniometer, you can see that I'm almost at 90 degrees. I'm about 87. This means I'll give it a little bit more push. We insert it once again. We start bringing the piston up and I'll just slightly try and increase the bend of just a few degrees. Okay. Done, let's check again. Now check this out. I managed to achieve exactly 90 degree. This shows you how an inexpensive tool can change your garage life. Now we have achieved that we have an exact copy of this bracket. Not that I was interested in copying this bracket. It was just for demonstration purpose. But just imagine how many times maybe we want to place a fairing or we want to place a device like a GPS and make its custom bracket because we can't find any on the market. With this bending machine, you'll just need to have someone laser cut or you can also cut it by hand with a flex, even though be careful. And then we can design whichever brackets we want on our bikes. I really hope that in this video you discovered a tool you didn't know that existed. Let me know in the comments if you already use this type of machine or if now that you saw the video, you'll go and get one yourself for your garage. Since I know that not all of you have access to any supplier or to anyone that has a laser cutting machine for sheet metal, what I suggest you is if you purchase this product, just go to your local hardware store and you can buy these profiles, these aluminum or steel profiles, and you can start playing out with these because these are easy to bend. You can get them in different thickness. This I think is a three millimeter or two millimeter aluminum. And then you can drill holes and do whatever brackets you want. You could potentially make by yourself a whole nav tower. Let me know in the comments if you would like this type of video. I was thinking about a challenge where we try and make a complete nav tower for a motorbike, all made with parts that we can buy at any hardware local store. So nothing laser cut, just buy stuff, cut it, drill it and bend it and see if we can make a super cheap and accessible nav tower that you can also make by yourself at home. Having had this product now for a few months, I can tell you it's super, super useful. And it's the type of products I want to bring you here on the channel. Things that are hard to find and that maybe took me ages to find. It took me probably six months to find it. The only 
issue I've had, I'm seeing now, is that there's starting to be a bit of rust because it's metal. For this reason, uh, I'll now go and spray a bit of anti-rust spray. This is from Motorex. You know, I have all the Motorex product line here in the workshop. So I'll spray a bit of this and this is maybe my only complaint, but it's not even a complaint. It's, I mean, it's normal. You just like any type of machinery, even your bike, you have to take care of it. And I had never sprayed anything on it. So now I'll spray this and get back to work because we are finishing the CRF 450L build, which is coming next week on the channel. So subscribe, like this video, share it if you have a friend that always goes crazy making brackets with a hammer in their garage. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.